Hey there, today we'll be doing this question from the graph playlist of Fleetwood that is 934 shortest bridge and the other videos from the day 5 till the day 5 have been already been uploaded. Please do check those out. That will be helpful to you as well and to me as well. And today's question is 934 shortest bridge and let's get into it. To it. So you're given an N cross N binary matrix grid where 1 represents land and 0 represents water. An island is four directionally connected group of ones not connected to any other ones. There are exactly two islands in grid. You may change zeros to ones to connect the two islands to form one island. And return the smallest number of zeros you must flip to connect two islands. So let's understand this question better. And sorry for the bad drawing. Please do bear with me. So this question states that there will be exactly two islands. They have said. And if you have been following this graph playlist or the lead code graph card, you must have seen these island uh, questions previously. Uh, these are very similar problems that we have already done. Okay, number of islands, max area of island, and whatnot. So this problems are almost similar only. So the island con concept must be uh, something not new to you by now. If you have done this playlist, so they have said that you only have two islands. So this is one island right here. This is another island right here. They have said you need you have the ability to change this zero to one. And if you just flip this zero to one, you will see that all the islands right now will be a part of one connected component. That means every island right here. Now this whole thing will become one island. So basically in this question, you just have to do this. You just have to tell me or just tell them that what are the number of zeros that you can change in order to make it one connected component or one island okay so you have right now two you just need to make them one so how will we do it so let's understand this step by step so what can we do something we can actually approach it as let's just say we'll just take one island first that is this island and we'll say i can change that value to something now why am i saying that you'll understand this later on just continue with this process right now so let's just say we are taking this island okay and what we can do right now is that we can actually change the values of these island to something why we are doing that i'll just explain it to you just hang on with me so at first what we can do is we will change the values of the connected island of the first type of island so i'll be drawing this same thing right here so this is how our islands and the other islands are looking like so this is one of our island and this is another island that we have the only fact that has changed is the first island is having value one and the second island is having a value of two now some Thing might be coming to your mind that why I did this so see if we actually see what is the advantage that we are getting if we change the value of the second island or the first island whichever you want you can change it so the thing that we are getting or it is advantageous to us is that we are getting distinction that is right now we know the values of the other island is something different and the value of this island is something different and now what we can do is we can actually do a BFS from either one, the first type of island or the second type of island. And how will that BFS help us? Let's see that. So if we do a BFS from the, let's just see we are doing it on the second type of island. Okay. So what do we have? We have these guys right here. Okay. And how do we do BFS? We just put all the values that are marked as two as a second type of island into our queue so let's just write the coordinates as well so one two three and one two three right here so what are the coordinates that are present here so the coordinates that are present here are three comma two four comma three and the other coordinate that we have is three comma three which is having the second type of island right here so these are the possible islands having the value 2 which is the second type of island now what can we do we see that 
they have said that we can go four directionally okay that is up left right and bottom that is mentioned somewhere here right here fine now what we can do we will travel four directionally from these guys by one step that means from here from this island that is here we can go to the top part and to the left part and from this island also we can go here so at the next step where will i reach from my queue the updated values that will be there will be this guy this position or this cell and this cell these are the values that will be in my queue right now fine that means i have i can travel to these many positions by a distance of one obviously if we take one step we can go here if we take one step and one step we can reach these positions so now let's just write the values that we have in our queue that is 3 comma 1 and this will be 2 comma 2 and the other one will be 2 comma 3 so from these positions that we have right now let's just say these are the positions where we are currently right now fine so this is where i am right now so this zero is where we are right now i'll just remove these arrows as well these zeros or the square of parts are where we are right now so from here where can we travel we can travel radially up down and left and right again from these cells that we had so from these cells we'll try to travel radially left right and at the bottom so we can do this but if you see carefully we have already visited this too why do we need to go back to the same island again so we'll not do that we'll see, uh, we'll see how we how do we do that in our code as well and we will not go to this part as well because we are already at this island why do we need to visit that again right so from here we can go radially up and we'll not be visiting this obviously because it has already been visited again we can not visit this we can obviously visit it but what's the point visiting it visiting it since we can jump in from here to here also so why do we need to make that jump again right so we see that we can go to these many points and here we make a discovery that there is a one and what is that one indicating it is indicating that there is another island present there and we eventually found out that okay how many moves do i need so the number of moves was what in the first move we could travel to these guys or these islands right here in the second move where could i travel so the part where i could travel was to this one to this zero and to this zero this is the part where we can travel on the second move that is there so in the second move we can travel here but are we concerned about the zeros obviously not we are just concerned about finding another island that is a one right so we do discover a one in the next step and what was that step that was the second step right so that is what we need to return but mind you they have not counted this step right here so that is why you just need to return a minus one okay whatever the number of steps is minus one that is what you need to return in order to do this part so this is the whole algorithm walkthrough of how we're going to achieve this so now let's get to the code part so coming on to the code part so the code will be available in the description link below please do check that out part as well okay so coming on to the code first of all what do we do we change the island as descriptive in the code as in the explanation part we change the islands and how do we do that we just simply find the uh, nearest one that is wherever there is a one what do we do we just say okay i'll just do a dfs from there and i'll make sure that everything is marked to two whatever is linked there an example would be a better one so let's just say if this is your value what do i say now let's just say this is one again so i'll try to find the one as soon as i find a one i'll say i'll try to dfs from here and whatever these ones are connected to so these are connected to this one so they'll be changed to two fine 
and as they are mentioned in the question that there are exactly two islands so you just uh, you can just uh, do these uh, independently right so now these guys will be marked as two and this whole connected component or a whole island will be marked or just remain unmarked fine so this is the part where we just change the island and we just need to do the uh, this dfs once right once we find it everything will be marked two we just connect it to this island this is the part where we do it so the change island part is done after that what do we do let's just see that after that we'll get the new islands in the queue and what do we mean by that as descriptive here while we were doing um, this example this example right here what did we do the newly discovered island that is whatever we was marked as two what did we do we put them into our queue and we try to move up left right and down or bottom whichever one you like to call it and we did that right and we just maintain the count of each level that is how many levels we are going to actually find a new island so this is the process where we just do this that is whatever guy have been marked with two that means that is our new island and we just need to find the nearest distance to the island one so this is the part where we just put all the values with two into our queue that is done and what is this bfs doing as mentioned before we just do a simple bfs as descriptive here to find out what are the levels that we need to travel in order to find a one or a island which is having the value one so on the first level everything with this was discovered then we discovered okay these are the possible values but we also find the island while we were going there so that is what we need to return so this is the variable that we are maintaining we are saying okay this is my first level going so on the first level what will happen is that we will travel this thing this part right here these many guys or these many cells will be visited at the first instance at the second instance this will be visited so then the value will be changed from one to two and that is what we will return so this is a normal bfs we do this is the part where we move four directionally and the coordinates that have been written here is here and why do we do this please do check out the video you'll get the point why do we do it it's a better way to travel on all the four direction in a matrix and this is just a boundary check to check that we are not going out of the bounds of the matrix and sorry about that i did not show you the change island function that is the dfs we were writing in order to change all the values from one to two this is the simple change island type function that i wrote it is just a normal uh, dfs you just need to make sure that whenever you visit a cell you just mark it as two okay now continuing on to the bfs part we move we uh, we, just, we are just moving here four directionally four directions and after that we are saying okay if it is in our bounds where we are trying to jump onto is that in our bounds if yes go and see that if the value is zero that means it is a water cell and we can still move further but if not if it is a cell with a value one that means there is a island possible island which i can jump onto that means therein you'll just have to return a value of change minus one and what was this change tracking this was tracking how many jumps you are making okay so as i said you just need to return change minus one why so because this part right here where you're jumping to is not being considered okay you just are considering the uh, intermediary part of all the zeros fine so the intermediate parts that are there which are zero or the cells which are zero minus one that is what you are doing and at the end of the day just return a zero because this will never actually happen since they have said that there is always two island present and it is always going to return from here and this is it for this code and if you still have any doubt please do ask me in the comments